In this video, we're taking a look at these, the Adidas Solar Glide 6. What is up everybody and welcome to 40 Runs. Now, before we do anything, are you part of the 70%, your 70% to view this YouTube channel but aren't subscribed? Let me know in the comments, but actually don't do that. Hit that subscribe button and the like button before we get into the rest of the video. Now, why do you ask that forward at the front end of the video? Because if I don't hear at the front end, you forget. So that's why we always put it on at the front end of the videos. Anyway, you're here to find out about these, the Solar Glide 6. Okay, so quick backstory. I am, uh, yeah, I think it's fair to say, a big fan of Adidas in 2022. Uh, we have here, <coughs> A selection of my Adidas uh, get up. We've got the uh, Adi Zero Pro 3, uh, Private Strung, and the Adidas uh, Adi Zero SL. Now, I like all those shoes, um, so I was kind of thinking to myself, is there a daily trainer from Adidas that um, actually I might get on with and I might like? So I went onto the Adidas app, I think like most of us do, and I saw these, the Solar Glide 6, and I thought, you know what? Let's give them a try. So apparently this is the new version. Um, I, I didn't know they'd updated it, to be honest with you. And looking at it, it looks very mild, the updates. I think the major update is probably in the upper. We'll come onto that in just a sec. But effectively, it looks the same shoe. It has all the same details of the five from what I can see. But yeah, most of it's, I think, aesthetic in terms of changes. So while we're on that, let's do the stats and features. So we've got 10 mil drop. We've got a um, circular knit upper, which is made of 50% recycled materials, by the way. We've got a two layer midsole. We've got this boost. Uh, they're still doing boost yet. Uh, and then you've got this top line of EVA. Uh, the biggest feature of the shoe is the um, LEP frame, which is there to add a stable ride to a degree. It's like a wide, if you look at it, wide platform. It's like a H shape, but it also does aid apparently with Propulsion, uh, if it's true to size, uh, this is a UK nine and a half for me. I think I said it was 130 pounds. We've got 30, I wrote down, hang on. Um, do, 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 36 mil in the heel. Uh, what else do you need to know? I think that's probably about it. Oh, yes, the weight. Okay, so get ready for it, people, and maybe sit down. This weighs, in my UK nine and a half, 362 grams. Now, just to put that into some form of... Uh, I don't know, reality, the Brooks Hyperion Max is, and I wrote it down, a hundred and something grams lighter than this. So now we know that this weighs as much as uh, my seven-year-old daughter, um, we're going to try and put that to one side for just a sec while we talk about the shoe. So there's no denying the weight is an issue, okay? But let's park that for a little bit because I want to talk about how it feels and how I've gone with it. Now this is a shoe from, from Adidas that apparently, from what I've read, is about soaking up uh, just weekly mileage, okay? It's a daily trainer, but it's also there for those slightly longer runs, and it's just there to eat miles. It does provide a stable ride. It's not a stability shoe, uh, out and out stability shoe, but it does offer a stable ride with the, um, see the heel there? You've just got that um, stability in the heel with the two layers of foam. This EVA is reducing some of the um, softness of the boost, I would say. And then obviously you've got then this, see the plastic bits of the LEP, which is then providing that stable platform, but giving you a little bit of propulsion. But it is a stable ride. It is wide, which is good news. Uh, so if you are a big fan of Adidas and you're looking for a slightly stable ride, then this is obviously something to think about. Uh, it does have a lot of foam in it uh, around the heel, uh, in the tongue in particular. It's got like a massive tongue, it's like a sail. Uh, I was out there in the wind and I nearly got blown over. Yeah, I nearly got blown all the way to South End in this tongue. It is massive, it's like a sail. Uh, it's not gusseted, so it is really annoying. So like it will do that on occasions or it will like just do that. It's really annoying, but look at the size of it. It's a monster and you can see where the weight has gone. The laces are okay. They do have a tendency to undo themselves, which is why I don't bother undoing them because they tend to undo themselves. The continental rubber on the outsole is good, uh, provides plenty of traction, nice and sticky, um, but again, they could shave weight with that. Okay, I think that's about it in terms of stats and features and a little bit of info on the shoe. Right, so let's cut to the chase. Is this any good as a daily trainer? No. Uh, does it provide a stable ride? Yes. The weight is an issue, but I've got to be honest with you, it's, it's not as bad as I thought it would be in terms of the weight. Um, the work I've done in the shoe, and we are between 
30 miles and 40 miles in the shoe. The work I've been doing is not with anything of particular pace in it, so I've not really noticed the weight that much. Um, I've just stuck it on when I just want to get out of the door and run. Do you know what I mean? Maybe like a lunchtime run, something like that. Uh, so it's, you know, and when it's been wet because of the continental traction, or oh, it's rubber traction on the outside. But you don't notice the weight as much as I thought it would, despite, as I said, being as heavy as one of my kids. This is not the answer to the problem, the conundrum that is the Adidas Daily Trainer issue. Adidas do not produce a good daily trainer. Let me know in the comments if you disagree. And I'm actually tempted to do a video about it, um, about that issue, but let's go back onto the Solar Glide 6. I tell you what, this is <laughs> this is a good kind of crossover shoe. Like, it sounds funny, but like I was wearing this, I took the kids to swimming, and then I was wearing this, and then I went out and did a run. It's that kind of shoe where you can kind of wear it for a bit of everything. It is comfortable, there's no denying that. It is It is a nice feeling as you step into it. It is a breathable-ish upper. Um, obviously it's cold over here in the UK so I've got no idea whether it's like warm warm um, but yeah it's it's okay but it's just it's just not the solution it's not what I was expecting when I got it that said I was kind of hoping maybe it was a glimmer of hope that this would be a daily trainer that I could use from Adidas on a regular basis but it's not I, you know I'd much rather be in my Nova Blast 3s than this and that's that's the thing you, you know okay going long in it you know, and I'm talking 16, 18, 20 miles, but the weight would be then be a really bad factor on the shoe. So it's a bit of a dud. Um, I don't think it's a bad shoe per se, but I don't think it's a particularly good shoe. I'm still not sure why they're putting boost in it. Um, I thought that technology was dead, so that's a bit of a weird one. Um, the LEP, to be honest with you, is just a waste of time. This whole, LE, this whole LEP system is just a massive waste of time. It's weight and it's just it's just pointless it really is just pointless i don't know what they're playing at by putting all this plastic and see that in there and all this sort of stuff on it it's just and the, the thickness of the rubber yeah you want durability but you've got all this plastic and that lot and the thickness of the tongue in the foam i understand they want to make it a comfortable ride but i think they're sacrificing you know that for, for the weight you know it's just it's just total overkill with the shoe so £130, I'll be honest with you, just avoid it. It's not really worth it. Um, it, is <laughs> it is comfortable. Uh, I'll probably just keep it and use it to walk the dog. Uh, <laughs> this is probably what I'll do with it because, it, the, the, as I said, the outside is good. It is really comfortable and it's very stable. And You know, even just pottering down to club night, I'll probably stick it on for that. But ultimately, I don't think you need to spend your money here. It is, it is a bit of a waste of money if you're, if you're looking for a daily trainer. There's much better out there. Um, but yeah, so there we go. I wanted to try it. I wanted to see what it was all about. I said, because of my love for Adidas in 2022, this was a, a sort of natural choice to go um, and have a look at. Um, but yeah, it was a bit of an epic failure. Uh, I don't see really what the updates are versus five other than the upper and things like that. The bottom down here is, is still effectively the same shoe. So if you didn't like the fifth version, don't even bother looking at Number six. Okay, people, I know a bit of a disappointing uh, review. Um, I don't like making negative reviews, but I wanted to give you it as always uh, um, nice and truthful and honest as you'd expect from 40 rounds. But yeah, so £130, spend your money elsewhere.